Hey, YouTube friends. Uh, I've had some issues with waterfall faucets. We've actually had to replace and probably didn't have to replace uh, the first faucet we had. Uh, but it, it started going super slow. The, you know, the water came out really fast at first. And, um, you know, it just started slowing down. And, oh, we'll, we'll just, you know, we'll replace it. The faucet must be broken or whatever. <clears throat> There's a previous video for I installed these new ones. Uh, these are, you know, generic faucets. They look nice. Uh, but, uh, you know, six months later. And, I mean, it's good for water saving. <laughs> At least your water bill will go down. You know, you're gonna sit there and, and wait like a half hour to fill up your cup, <laughs> you know, when you're brushing your teeth. Obviously, there's something wrong there. And I don't believe, you know, I see the other ones where they fix them and it's like goop and stuff like that. First of all, our tap water is reasonably clean. But secondly, I don't think it would do it that quick. I think there's a flaw here. And uh, some, I spent a lot of time trying to fix it because there's got to be a reason, right? And uh, and I I figured out the problem. So um, let's you and I fix this uh, faucet. I'm gonna go under here. You probably can't see, but you know the uh, little knobbies are back in here. Got a flat light. You know what I do have a flashlight. I'll show you. But I mean, you've seen these before under the sink. You know the uh, the water valve. Let's turn these off. We've gotten the the faucet off, and uh, you can see no more water. So to get this thing here off, we've got to pop off this little decorative uh, deal, and uh, I'm going to use uh, one of these little. Screwdrivers and be careful not to stab your finger And then there you go from the top. There's like a little bit of room. So that's good. Okay so then uh, there's a, a a Little Allen wrench <clears throat> So you gotta get it in there and it's pretty easy to find so like that and we're gonna Turn that baby off. Or, uh, I'm sorry, unscrew it. Okay. There it is. So there's the screw uh, and the handle. All right, so uh, now on some of these, well, this is decorative here. Just unscrew it right here. All right, now uh, some oops, some of the other ones I've seen <clears throat> have uh, grooves where you can use channel uh, locks or a wrench and unscrew it. This version here, which I have not found anywhere when I was researching this, doesn't have any way to take this off except these two little dinky holes. Now, just so you know, this part here is not decorative. It comes off, but I'm not sure if you can actually put channel locks on that and pull, screw it off that way without damaging it but these two little deals here you can use a spanner on if you have it uh, that's this here's a spanner a wrench and uh, these fit in the little holes there uh, i had to order this to fit that because i had nothing that would do it <clears throat> and uh, i was bound and determined to get this cartridge out of here and this was really the only way I saw that I could do it so all right and then you just unscrew once you get these in there just like that Now, at some point, this has to, oh, there, see, now that now it comes off once you loosen that a little bit. I mean, I'm thinking that maybe you can get it, I mean, it is two separate pieces, um, but you can't, there's no way to grip it, and if you use vice grips or channel locks, maybe you could put cloth on it and unscrew it, 
to access the cartridge. I'm not sure, but uh, you can see it's two pieces here. They and uh, yeah. anyway, that's how I got it off with this thing here. Yay! And then this deal here just comes out now. Uh, at first, I'm like, oh, this is the thing that's the problem, but it's not. This here is not the problem. The problem is something going on in this little guy right here. Dirt or anything in there. I mean, there's some machining flaws and, and so forth that are inside there, but you can see there's nothing coming off now. I mean, we could use a magnet uh, and see if it pulls stuff out of there. The problem is this little guy right here. <clears throat> Where am I? Okay. So we need to pull this little green thing out. Let's get some light. That little green guy right there needs to come out of there. <clears throat> and you see there's no dirt in it or nothing that would be causing it. <clears throat> so... There it is, this little green thing. Now see, there's no dirt, nothing in here. What I did is, at first, I, I on the other one over here, which you can see I've already fixed, um, is I pulled it out and made sure it was clean and put it back in, put it together, it still went slow. This washer, this little rubber washer here, is there's something going on with it. Like maybe over time it gets bigger, or something because I mean it looks okay there's no problems but if I take it out completely and you can see there's no debris in here at all and I can see no debris nothing going on there nothing in there um, but if I put it in without the washer, it works just fine. Now, I mean, I'm sure that washer does something, but I haven't figured it out what it does yet. Uh, <laughs> because it doesn't leak and it makes, and it comes out without the washer in there just fine. So I'm thinking that washer is some sort of restrictor and I don't know if it expands over time. I just don't know. What I do know is taking it out lets it work <laughs> and it's not leaking anywhere you know so we'll see over time look if it starts spurting water everywhere you guys will be the first to know so anyway uh you see these two little bumps there's two little holes in here these this here goes in you can see it it's got it's sealed uh on there You know, and I'm guessing that I may have to take this out once in a while to clean this little screen without that washer, maybe. I don't know. I don't see any gook in there. So those two little uh, notches here need to go in the holes there so you know how it's aligned properly, see? And uh, then we're going to put it back in. So we're back to this again. Dun, dun, dun. So this obviously has to go out first. And then this guy here screws in there. So we get our spanner and tighten that down. Whoops. That is certainly not my intention to have that leaking on us. Look at that. Uh, that's okay. I'm guessing it's leaking because I haven't tightened the seals down good. But we'll fix that right now. Once I tie, and it shouldn't be coming out at all because I have uh, the bottom valves tight. I see. That did it. So now the little seals on the bottom of the cartridge are, are flush and it stopped coming out. I, I'm guessing those valves down there are leaking a little bit. It's just, I mean, don't, 
over tighten it. <laughs> we don't need to do that. You tighten it enough that it's not leaking. And you can see it's not leaking, right? Turn that. Up. Actually, that's that would have prevented it if I just left that on while I was putting it in. It probably would have went, leaked out of here a little bit. Whoops. How'd that get in there? <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I think that's tight enough. Okay. So, we're going to put the... Uh, where's that the, the cord up top? Hmm. Don't forget to put this on. Yeah. Be careful with the threading. It's not real good threading here. There it goes. Make sure it's nice and snug. And we're gonna put the cap back on here. So. gonna go right in there okay put our little decor to let's see which way it would cold and hot I think colds to the right okay <laughs> I always forget All right, and here it is. What do you guys think? Is it gonna explode? <gasps> Yo, okay, <laughs> that is some kind of restrictor. <laughs> oh, this Ethan's gonna be messing with this. I'm gonna have to beat him. <laughs> Holy mackerel. All right, so it is a restrictor of <laughs> some sort. Uh, yeah, okay, definitely is a restrictor, so you just got to be sort of careful on how much you turn it on. <laughs> and, holy mackerel, Batman, yeah, all right, all right, so we fixed something, yay us, all right guys. <laughs> Till next time.